In the deep south of Israel, between the mountains of Eilat, there is an interesting place. A place that is dry, desolate, and yet absolutely stunning. This is so cool, I can't believe we're in Israel even. This is like being in the Grand Canyon, but smaller. Miniature Grand Canyon. This is such a cool road because it goes by the border of Egypt. And I love borders for some reason. I just love them. If you're going to visit the Red Canyon, because of its remote location, we recommend to stay in Elat. And then early in the morning, before it gets hot, take a short 20 minute drive to the Red Canyon. This scenery is so unique. It is so different than anything else in Israel. And I'm looking through the window of this car and I'm seeing those mountains of Sinai and I can just feel them call our names for another hike, but not this time, because today, we're heading to the Red Canyon. I'm surprised by how barren this area is. Basically, there's just some rocks that define the parking lot, and that's it. This canyon is not protected by the National Parks Authority, so you will not find any buildings, restrooms, or fences. Instead, the Society for the Protection of Nature in Israel commissioned park rangers to clean and protect this canyon, while keeping it in its raw and untouched form. Wow, look at these uh, interesting formations. They're like the color is different of the rock. It's almost red or like, I don't know, uh, purple. It's so cool. So this hike is actually a short section of the river Shani. This river starts all the way in Egypt in the Sinai Mountains. It crosses the border into Israel and goes through the Eilat Mountains. And we're doing just a small portion of it right here. Despite the scorching heat and the absence of water, this wasteland is home to some peculiar plants, like the rare bean caper plant and the shrubby salt bush, which can be seen in abundance here. The salt bush is an edible plant which is naturally salty. Some believe this is the same plant that Job mentions in chapter 30, where he speaks about the sons of fools roaming the desolate wastelands at night and plucking the salt bush for food. So we're walking here and it is so dry, water to be seen nowhere. And I'm thinking, what if it rains somewhere far off and all that rainwater comes gushing in here like a flood? This river gets its good share of floods during the winter time. It gets so flooded that it would be impossible to walk through this riverbed or the Red Canyon. How does she find five shekels in the middle of nowhere? A dollar and a half. You could buy a lot of things with five shekels. You could buy a pack of gum. I got five shekels. You could buy a little milk. You could buy something. So it's pretty cool. After 15 minute walk from the parking lot, we arrive at the canyon. Even though this canyon is only 900 feet long, it does have a few spots where we have to climb down the steep walls. Are you proud of me? Maybe this should be Tarzan and Jane in Israel. Oh, you hurt yourself, didn't you? A little muscle twister. <laughs> all of the websites and the guidebooks, they all say this is a family-friendly hike. Good job, Tarzan. Oh. 
The reason why this canyon is called the Red Canyon is kind of obvious. The rock here is red and that's because it is a red sandstone rock. Look at, babe, it's like, look. The cool thing about this rock is that it is soft. So when the rainwater comes, it is able to carve out in this rock a beautiful canyon. But the bad thing is, it crumbles easily. So if you try climbing it, it can be quite dangerous. It's really not appropriate for a flip flop. Once you get to the end of the canyon, you don't have to go back. You can just climb up and go on a straight path. But this climb does look a little worrisome. Whoa. I was so scared, my heart just dropped. Careful, Vic, careful. Be, be careful. I didn't realize it was such a dangerous path and we had uh, not the appropriate shoes. If you've seen our videos before, then you know that I don't really take high risks. I gotta tell you, this was a pretty close call. Yeah. I would have worn shoes if I knew that's how it yeah. looks like. Oh, you oh, also okay. have worse, worse flip flops than mine. And dress. Yeah. <laughs> how do you like the trail? It's beautiful, actually. Okay. I like it. Yeah, it's a very cool place. <laughs> Let's do it again. Yeah. Now that we're up at this hill. It's a piece of cake. We can just keep going straight all the way back to the parking lot. Like wisdom, speaks like children to sight to the blind. It is so beautiful out here. I'm not ready to go back to the car just yet. I'm thinking to climb up the mountain and check out the raw beauty of this place. There is a balm in Gilead. Just so cool, it's like, I'm not even on the earth. Look at all these rocks. Looks like Mars or something, I don't know. Look at that black mountain behind me, look at that. Fills me with joy when I had none. I'll meet you down there. There's a way? Yep. There is a bone in Gilead. The land of Israel is so astonishing. I mean, think how small it is, and yet you've got all kinds of climates, you've got different land features, you've even got a canyon that you can walk through. It is really incredible. So, if you ever get a chance to visit a lot, I highly recommend to make a stop in this place. Yeah. Made it. We hope you enjoyed this video. That's right. And if you did, then, well, you know what? You know how all the YouTube channels say, if you enjoyed this video, then subscribe below. But I feel like it's redundant. If you like this video, you're going to subscribe anyway. And if you didn't like this video, you're not going to subscribe even if we tell you to do so. So, what's the point, right? Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe.